Hey guys, welcome to TWC Projects. Uh, so today, what have I got for you? Well, uh, you might remember a little while back, I had a tree come down unexpectedly, a big one. Um, in fact, this monster. And uh, I was able to get it cut up a bit, but um, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that log and that log and that log over to the sawmill up in the woods so that I can saw them up. Uh, way too heavy to try to move um, and I'm, I, I don't want to try to drag them through the dirt and get rocks and dirt and stuff all on the bark because I think that's part of the problem that yields from last week's video. Um, the, the, the blade got gritty and lost, lost the, the tension on the, the wheels and came off. And I think it's partly because of uh, some dirty logs. So stick with me and I'll uh, show you what my idea is. Hopefully it works. If it does, it'll be cool because I'll be able to use it other places. Um, but if not, eh, you know. So far all my ideas work, so <laughs> we'll see. Hang in there and uh, we'll show you soon. <laughs> All right, so uh, as you can see, I decided to take advantage of my winch and my remote that I put on the winch. Um, it's a 3,500 pound winch, so I figured it would, it ought to roll this log if I put it on there right, and it did. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, strap it onto this skid that I made. Basically just, I took, uh, I don't know what this is, 23, 30 seconds or something. It's a little over 5 eighths inch plywood, the biggest, thickest plywood I could find. And uh, but I just you know, ripped it down the middle, made it two feet wide, drilled some holes in it, put a little skid guard in the front to try not to rip up the front of it too much, but I'll show you in a minute how I put the chains on that. So I'm gonna strap this log onto the, onto the skid here, and then I'll, uh, then I'll try. I'll see if it works. All right, well, it almost worked. Um, as soon as I got, you probably can't tell, but there's a bit of a slope here. In fact, the, uh, the little roadway coming in here tips to the side. And I guess I got a little too confident. 
you're going maybe a little too fast. I'm not sure what I did, but uh, basically the the whole thing just kind of when it got right in here, it just flipped. <laughs> it flipped and the log rolled off. The strap, the straps just didn't. Uh, I don't know. They, I don't know if they bent, if I mangled them or not. But I'll look at them in a minute. Anyway, so right about here, it just it rolled off. So I'm putting the board back under. I'm gonna try it again because I only need to get another 30 feet to the, or so to the mill. So almost made it, but uh, it works. You know, it actually worked. It just uh, a little careless driving on my part, I guess. Um, I'm learning. So <laughs> I like it when an idea actually works. So let's keep going. All right, so this guy didn't do too well under the pressure. He just came to pieces. I guess he's the one that broke. And that's probably what allowed the log to get enough momentum to roll off. So that one goes in the trash pile. But hopefully we can get this other one at least to hold enough to get it up there and I'll just go real easy. Try to be super careful. Yeah, I'm guessing I need to get uh, a little bit stronger straps <laughs> for this kind of thing. I, I don't know how heavy this log is, but it's got to be <sighs> it's got to be over 500 pounds at least. It's a monster. It's wet, heavy oak. So. I'm thinking I need to go get another strap. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna do what I want to do. place and uh, able to drag it up here. Had to go real easy and uh, hot dog it. So uh, that's what you do when you don't have uh, you don't have a skid loader, you don't have a tractor, you don't have a backhoe. You don't have any real big equipment, but you got some big stuff to move. You get creative and resourceful and you make a skid and it looks like it worked. Um, the log's pretty clean still too, which is the goal because I didn't want to get it all filled with dirt. But uh, two more. I don't know if I'll get them both today. I might get one more today. And then, because uh, one of them I've got to cut a bit still. It's got a big old, uh, offshoot where a limb was coming a big limb was coming out so I've got to really cut that down to get it flatter so I can actually roll it it's just too big to roll anyway I'll keep at it <laughs> All right, just in case you couldn't see uh, what I was doing. Um, one, I was using the remote for the winch. And two, I uh, was able to hook it right around this big old hook and uh, just pull it back till I get it up on the board. This time I was a little smarter. I put a small board underneath there because I had a heck of a time getting the cable out before 
Um, I had to do a lot of finagling this time. I'll just, as soon as I loosen up the winch a little bit, I'll pull it right out through and uh, should be good to go. So I thought I'd just make sure you saw what was going on up close and see how I've kind of got all that set up. One other thing, uh, I also put uh, blocks underneath the wheels because otherwise um, I'd be putting a lot of strain on the on the uh, parking brake, the locking brake on the UTV. Instead, I put all the pressure on those boards on the ground instead of pulling apart my putting that pressure on my uh, emergency brake. So, uh, kind of important, I guess. Anybody who's using a winch knows that, but thought I'd throw it in too. All right, I think I need to refine the design a little bit. I was going real slow, watching it in the mirror, trying to be careful, but uh, just didn't want to stay. <laughs> Almost made it too, I'm so close, so close. So hopefully I can tip it back upright. At least this time I was going slow enough I didn't rip off the, the straps. Just doesn't want to stay, I tried so slowly, but anyway. Thought I'd show you. Not perfect, but learning, right? Always learning. So, uh, <laughs> I'll try to get that tip back upright and uh, get it just a few more feet. Call it a day. <laughs> All righty. All right, so I made it. And uh, this time I put a little wedge underneath there. Maybe that's what I need to do on both sides before I fully tighten it down next time. But uh, I got it. Let's see if I can get it out of there without getting hurt. There we go. All right. <laughs> well, I think that'll be it for today. I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed my little little attempt to build something that uh, actually must have worked. So uh, needs a little refinement, but uh, it did the job. It kept the it helped me get these giant logs out that I don't think I could have pulled. I couldn't have dragged them even mud or no but mud in the bark. Um, they just wouldn't have. They're just too heavy. That thing, um, I put it in low and four wheel drive and just, uh, she pulled along. It's a pretty tough buggy, but, uh, anyway, um, I'm going to wrap it up for today. I think this is, uh, enough and, uh, I'm grateful that you join me. I hope you're enjoying this channel. Um, enjoy learning and, uh, you know, sharing with you as I'm learning and, and, uh, having a little fun and, uh, I hope you find it uh, a little bit entertaining. And so, uh, if you would, if you enjoy it subscribe so that you get all of them there's plenty more i've got playlists out there too that i kind of separate out so that you can you know if you just care about the working with logs and wood and sawmill a little bit more than i have one for that if you want to see some uh, adventures i've got one for that um, i've got a playlist around reviews where i'm just doing product uh, equipment reviews and so whatever you like hope that helps you uh, narrow down and, and, and see the stuff you like but uh, subscribe Hit the bell uh, if you want to see when new ones come out, and um, which is pretty much every week. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And, and the comments, great comments, man. I'll tell you, I get some really great comments. I really appreciate the positive support. I didn't start out to be a YouTuber at all. I just wanted to share with other folks um, and give back to the community. I've learned so much from already. And uh, I think there are people that uh, just enjoy watching and trying. Uh, hopefully this is a, a bit inspiring to people to get out and uh, use your hands, work hard outdoors, and uh, be creative, build some things, fix things. Uh, that's what this channel is all about. So I hope you uh, get inspired whenever you see me doing this stuff. And uh, I always look forward to hearing comments about what you're doing, and, uh, something you've learned you like, or something you want more, or something you want to teach me. I'm open to that too. I'm always learning. So um, uh, feel free to shoot me a comment, and uh, I look forward to it. So until next time, take care, enjoy. Um, Stay well, and thanks for joining TWC Projects.